Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Peaks 47. Doing something a little bit different this week. So I'm treating myself to a new loco. The new Backman 1P. Nice loco. We've been looking forward to that arriving. Had it on pre-order. I'm treating myself to a loco for a while. So I thought, yeah, I'll go with that one. So I've gone with the LMS one, the 1303. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I've weathered it. Hopefully you can see that. We've got some Model U figures for in the cab. See we've got the fireman there. So that's the non-sound version. I've had a U2's sound file fitted in it. Got to stay alive in it. It's got the firebox flicker in it that you get from standard from factory anyway. So we'll go back in time. This video is going to be me just getting the airbrush out. No scenics, believe it or not, in this video. Just get the airbrush out, bit of uh, bit of airbrushing, bit of dry brushing, painting the figures up, and uh, just getting it looking ready for the board. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope you can pick up some tips. If you've got any tips for me, please put them in the comments. I'll speak soon. Take care. So I'm going to get it on the board, get the airbrush set up, have a go at getting some streaking on. What I really want to do with this loco is get it pretty filthy, because by this time... This was quite an old loco, but I'm going to use a cotton bud and try and make it look like one of the drive all the firemen has wiped away some of the lettering and some of the numbers. So it's filthy, but they've just been wiped over the insignia on it. So let's get into it. So these will be the main paints and powders I'm probably going to use to hopefully gain the effect I'm looking for. I'm going to start off with this bright orange and it is quite bright orange rust and then the light rust is quite brown and it's quite a nice colour to finish with. So the idea is I'm going to put some streaks on with the orange. I'm going to tone it down with the light rust. It will generally have just a good coat of this all over it. I use the weathering powder around the whistle and some bits of details around here might add some water around here or some watermarks with the white bit coming out the tank on both sides so get some paint in the airbrush and make a start
So I'm quite pleased with how that's came out. I haven't quite got the look I was going for with the LMS and the 1303 being as if they've been looked like they've been wiped with a rag. But nevertheless, I'm still quite pleased with that. So I've got the Model U figures painted up now. I'm going to get these in the cab. Well, they were the right mission to get in exactly where I wanted them. I'm quite pleased with that. I think that's ready to join the fleet now. I've got the driver looking ahead. And then I've put the fireman leaning on the edge of where the door would be. Looking back, back at the freight or back at the passengers. I'm calling that complete. 